Hi, here I am standing on the site of uh, New Zealand's worst rail disaster. Um, the Tangiwa train disaster it happened on Christmas Eve in 1953. We'll have a look at the culprit who created this disaster. So behind me you can see uh, the North Island's tallest mountain, Mount Rupehu. It stands higher than 9,000 feet and is a very active volcano. It has um, released ash and various bits and pieces over the last decades and could do so at any time again. Um, back in 1953 on Christmas Eve, around about 8 p.m., um, the crater lake, well the crater basically gave way on one side and that caused the lahar, which is basically a huge mud flow, um, which then poured down the river here, um, full of boulders, ice, and everything else it picked up along the way. It washed away the railway bridge, just as the Wellington Auckland Express was uh, approaching. Uh, 151 people lost their lives as most of the carriages plunged into the river and uh, were washed away like corpse basically. So, um, huge disaster back in those days. And uh, yeah, quite a nice memorial here um, to commemorate. So here's a photo basically from back then, which uh, basically shows the wreckage, the bridge collapsed and carriages washed down the downstream as you can see. Um, yeah, some of the survivors' stories, very interesting. And uh, yeah, you can just imagine how horrific an experience that must have been. So. Yeah, we'll just take the path now and uh, have a look out um, to the uh, site of the bridge. Okay, we're now up at the uh, lookout of the bridge. And uh, yeah, it's pretty horrific, the story. Okay. So we're actually on the site of the uh, accident now. Here is the replace bridge and the railway line still runs along here. Okay, so down below here we've got the actual uh, Wongoahu River. Now the engine was actually located basically where that tree is now next to the bridge. The uh, tender was actually just a bit further downstream. Carriage 6 was directly across the river. Um, car 2 or carriage 2 was across the river and car 1 was basically behind this toy toy or golden rod um, bush. The actual road used to run along next to the track, um, basically through those pine trees now. Um, and the, the last car was found way down past the memorial which we're looking back at now. So uh, it's just hard to imagine that this um, innocent looking stream turned into a torrent of all sorts of detritus um, as well as you know, a wall of water. So very active part of the earth. <laughs> well, this bogey basically um, was left behind after the salvage. Um, it was actually from car 3 of the uh, Express um, and was actually recovered and placed here in 2014. Um, you can see basically how the metal is absolutely bent out of shape. Um, come around here. Um, yeah, you can see sort of the chassis work is just completely ripped away and, and bent into all sorts of uh, unnatural angles. But yeah, it's quite an impressive uh, memorial site, um, which is great, as it was uh, the worst train disaster New Zealand's ever known. And obviously many lessons have been learned from that um, about the uh, 
behaviour of Laharas and what they can actually do to our infrastructure. Well, here's uh, remembering those who died in the Tangiwai disaster. Thanks for watching.